Welcome to today's video, which is how I used Anki to score in the top decile at medical school. I'm really excited to make this video because it's something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I've always felt that I wasn't qualified enough to do it. But after having used Anki for a year now and having scored quite well in my exams, I feel like maybe now I'm the right person to do this, but I hope that you'll find this useful. And my biggest tip is definitely to give Anki a go. I am someone that's always Always struggled with remembering things. I'll remember it on the day that I learn it and then when I look back in a week's time it's completely left my mind which is no good for medicine. So the fact that I did so much space repetition over at least the last nine months has paid off it seems. So I want to show you how I use it and I'm definitely not an expert and there's probably more things that you can do with Anki but this is what has worked for me so definitely watch some other videos on the topic as well. Now when I open it up you can see that I've got so many Anki cards that I haven't done. This is because I literally haven't opened Anki since my exam which was the 1st of June which was well over a month ago now so excuse that and I think I also haven't updated Anki in a while so normally I have the heat map at the bottom which just basically is just an add-on which tells you how many cards you've done every day I was doing towards exams probably in the last few weeks about a thousand a day maybe a little less just to give you an idea I know some medical students do far more than this and some do less but just to give you an idea and I have tried to split them up into kind of past med and quiz med topics so that when I'm doing when I'm doing um, when I'm doing the questions I know where to add them to but having said this as you can see my medicine um, category is quite big and I think if I was doing this again I would probably not split them up into specialties because that's not what's going to come up like in exams it's not going to come up like here's your dermatology section it's going to be all mixed in well at least it is at King so I think I would probably just say medicine surgery just keep the categories really broad so your brain I think that makes it harder for your brain to retrieve the information. Um, but, so what I would do, so lots of people ask me, how do I make Anki flashcards? Doesn't it take really long? And the answer is no. So I always have my Anki on kind of like the right of my screen. And then on my the left of my screen, I will have a question bank. So let's just say I'm using PassMed today. So let's open past med up. It's my very slow internet. So for the purposes of this video, let's just do dermatology. 22 year old woman presents her GP with a two day history of teardrop shaped scaly papules on the back of her legs okay i'm already thinking gutate gutate psoriasis how you say that um and just for the sake of time i'm just gonna go with that okay so that was right and even ones so normally i would definitely convert any question that i get wrong into an anki flashcard but sometimes if i know it's really key information and i've got it right i still do it just to reinforce that learning so this is what my screen would normally look like. I've got Anki on the right and PassMed or my question bank of choice on the left. Now I'm gonna just copy and paste across what it says in the green box as that's normally the key piece of key information. I'm gonna add a new card, so really simple, just add. I think that's what I really like about Anki. It's just really, really simple. Some people might say it's ugly, but I just like that. Um, and then I'm gonna change the deck so this is dermatology and then I'm just gonna paste it in if I had some time I might just format it a bit if I cared um, and then I'm going to basically I'm gonna cover this so this is on a close function which basically means you just cover the word so for this it's shift command and c and then that's covered up alternatively i could do a basic card where i would say 
what is the likely diagnosis, acute onset of, and then I could just put gut ache, psoriasis here. I find that most of the time I just use the close function and that just helps to create speed up the process because I'm literally just copying and pasting and then covering the word but it's just really really quick this whole process um so let's try another one next one a 37 year woman presents to her general practitioner for initial registration appointment she has recently migrated from Romania okay so migrated from Romania is kind of a key word and informs the doctor that her only past medical history is psoriasis on the examination there is pitting of the nail beds there is dactylitis of the left ring finger considering her past medical history what other findings are most likely to be seen on examination i'm probably going to get this wrong um pitting this is a guess okay so i actually got that right i didn't think that i would know the answer to that but there you go um, I was kind of thinking psoriatic arthritis, but I wasn't that confident with that at all, as you could see. So this would be one that I would definitely copy over. I would also read the rest of the text and just take out any key bits of information, even if it wasn't directly related to the question. So, you know, I may say, what are the nail changes seen in psoriasis? And for this one, I might make it a basic question and then say the pitting Oncolysis, subungal hyperkeratosis, and loss of the nail. And there we go. And then I'm normally quite speedy at going through them. So, for example, if we start on dermatology, um, this is a type of closed question. So, erysipelas, I can't say that, is a localized skin infection caused by Staph aureus. No, wrong, you can tell I haven't done these questions in so long. And because I didn't have a clue about that, I'm gonna do the again, so under 15 minutes. So this one I think is cherry hemangioma or something like that, yeah. So that was right. So I was pretty confident with that to be honest and I haven't looked at this card for over a month. So I'm just gonna go for three months. I don't need to review that again. The most common site for keloid scars is I think it's the sternum yeah great so again i was pretty confident with that i'm gonna go for three eczema hepaticum is caused by herpes zoster virus i think yeah okay so if i was more like doubting that i was like this is actually a guess i got it right but it was still a guess i would probably go with the middle one so i'm gonna go with number two 19 days hard so basically the first one which is again the shortcut is number one the second one hard it's number two the third one good is number three on your keyboard and then easy is number four you can change the um spacing between when it will bring up that card again um i use ali abdal's um recommendations so definitely go and check out his settings and i literally just copied and pasted that i really don't understand kind of the spacing but this is what works for me i think the anki default setting is not as good um so yeah i definitely recommend using ali abdal's setting so I think that's kind of it. In terms of using Anki, I would always do my flashcards first thing in the day. That would be the first thing that I did. And then I just start adding to them. So in terms of splitting up my day, yeah, Anki and then more past med, Quesmed. And that's all I basically did for revision. And I think it's really important to explore different ways of revising. What works for me might not work for you. Um, but I know that Anki works for a lot of people and I was really, really surprised with how much I remembered because of it and even just doing those few cards now I've told you I haven't done them since way 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 back and the fact that I can still remember things just goes to show that this is really good for long-term memory I am not the smartest cookie on the planet but this really helps so yeah I hope this video was helpful um, let me know how you get on or whether you use Anki yourself